Hey everybody, welcome back to this new series on Django Test Framework and uh, I hope that uh, you are going to enjoy it a lot. So let's start the first thing. So what is Django Test Framework? Django Test Framework is just a third party library uh, which is used in Django to create REST APIs. Now if you, if you have heard this term Django for the first time then let me explain it to you. So Django is just a backend web framework and you can also call it a full stack web framework so we use django to create uh, full stack applications or we can also use to create only backend applications so this is what django is and i am not going to get into the depth of django but this is what it is so let me open it again so what is django rest framework django rest framework is just a third party library to create rest apis now what is an api and what is an rest api so let's get into that thing so basically full form of the api is application programming interface it works like a bridge to make a communication between two applications but how does it work uh, let's say you are creating an application and you wanted to use a third party library when you want to use a third party library what what you will do with it i mean how are you going to know that which functions are available in that library or which classes are or which data, which data are, is available in that library so this is where api comes into the play so api provides you basically a set of instructions or basically a set of functions and data so that you can use it in your applications so let me take an example of uh, basically material ui so if you have already building a front end using react then you have already used then you might have already uh, experienced material ui let me show it to you if you just open the material ui website then you are going to see that there is a uh, uh, basically there is a tab called component api as you can see that so basically they provide so many things that they are, they have available in their library so they have app bar they have avatars they have backdrop they have badge so how are you going to use these components you are going to use these components using their api documentation so api is nothing but a interface so that you can use these functions in your applications I know this definition sounds uh, very new to you but this is what an API is so API is used for exposing one applications functions data to another application as you can see that application programming interface or APIs simplify software development and innovation by enabling applications to exchange data and functionality easily and securely it is just a bridge used for you know making a communication between two applications so this is what an api but what is an rest api rest api is similar to an api but it is not a general term api is a general term but rest api is a specific term which is used only in the web so let's say you have two applications let's say you have a mobile application or you can also uh, assume it that it, it is an android application so when you open an android application and try to log in so what do you think what happens behind the scenes whenever you enter your credentials those credentials goes into the server but how does those credentials goes into the server this is where api comes into the play so when you enter your credentials email and password in your mobile applications those credentials goes through the api into your web server and your web server creates a response that yes your credentials are correct and now you can log in so your mobile will catch that response and approve you to log in so this is how a rest api works so rest api is a specific term to web and it is also a bridge but it connects your front end to your back end and most of the time it is front end and back end but you can also communicate between two back ends now rest api depends on json basically when they send the data 
towards each other they will send it in json format so this is how rest api works let me show it to you meme as you can see that i know you have seen this meme a lot of times before but that's a pretty good meme as you can see that so there is our backend you know uh, our kitchen you can consider it as a kitchen or there is our front end where uh, users are going to uh, consume the food and this th these are our waiters you can consider is uh, uh, you can consider those waiters as an api so our uh, chef or cook uh, are cooking the food in the back end whenever any user request for food a uh, user will tell the apis or waiters to bring that food then api will go to the back end bring that food and serve to the front end so this is the purpose of an api api's purpose is very simple go to the back end serve the food serve the data to front end that's it i am repeating it again user request for data to the apis or waiters and they will go to the back end back end will return the data and api will bring the data to the user so that user can do whatever uh, he or she wants with it so this is how an api works let me show you an example as you can see that uh, i have opened this website called json placeholder and it's a pretty popular website uh, there is this uh, get request have been made using fetch function of javascript and there is this url uh, where we are requesting the data so as soon as i click uh, this button this uh, script will be run so let me hit it and uh, i am getting this response back as you can see that basically what is happening is that whenever we click this button uh, our browser will make a request to this url and uh, this url will return a json data which is already being shown in here so let's open this uh, url in our browser okay as you can see that there is this same json data have been shown here which was being shown here as you can see that but what is going behind the scenes let me show it to you also so i have opened this uh, browser developer tools and as you can see that i am in the network tab and uh, i'm going to refresh this page again so as you can see that there are so many requests that have been made by this uh, you know browser to fetch some data about the website and some files also so let me clear it again and uh, i am going to hit this button as you can see that there is this get request have been made and uh, i am going to click on this button as you can see that uh, the response is 200 okay and uh, as soon as i go to the response section you can see that the same json data have been shown in here and uh, if i will go to the request section then there is nothing because we uh, you know uh, there was nothing in the request body that's why it is showing no parameters for this request so there is just response which we are receiving and showing it here so this is how an api works api is just a bridge to communicate to make a communication or to establish a communication between two applications this is just uh and rest api okay so we will create rest apis the same rest apis that we are using here using django rest framework but not the technically same but yeah we are going to create similar rest apis using django rest framework in this video series so i hope uh, we are going to learn a lot from this video series and uh, happy learning uh, uh, let's meet in the next video uh, goodbye